Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Grady Tech and this is the tech news of the day. By the way, if you like our videos, hit the like button, share it with your friends and do subscribe to our channel. WhatsApp is testing out a new change for the status page. As of right now, if you go to your status page, you can see a small arrow button at the top for reply button. You can just swipe up to reply to the status. But now WhatsApp is testing a new feature where you can see a constant reply bar at the bottom, which is very consistent with the overall UI. You can see similar feature even on Instagram. So they're basically making everything pretty consistent throughout their platforms. Geo has launched a brand new plan at a price of 909 rupees with some extra emphasis for OTT platforms. Now this is just like any other 4G plan where you get 2GB of high speed data for 84 days and you also get unlimited 5G if you are eligible like if you are in the coverage area. And finally as for OTTs you get Geo Cloud, Geo TV, Geo Cinema it's the normal Geo Cinema not the premium version and finally you also get Z5 and Sony Live. So these are the OTT platforms you can get for this plan for 84 days. If you're using Geo and want to use these OTT platforms, you might want to consider this plan. Meta has announced many new features for Facebook's Messenger application. Now, honestly, there isn't anything brand new over there. Basically, Meta is copying a lot of features from WhatsApp to Facebook Messenger. First of all, we have finally got the end-to-end -end encryption. So our messages can't be read by Facebook servers. So that's definitely good. Besides that, we can also edit our messages before the other party actually reads it. Next, we can send disappearing messages. We can hide the read receipts. That's basically the blue tick mark. And next, we can also listen to audio at 1.5x or 2x speeds. And Facebook is also testing HD photos and HD videos in the Messenger application. So these are the new changes. If you're using Facebook Messenger, do give it a try. Google may be working on a brand new AI project called the Project Elman. Now, Google is already using AI in Google Photos where it will scan all your photos and categorize them based on whose photo it is. And besides that, you can use the AI to create videos and stuff. Now, here's where the new thing comes. Now, this feature may include the Gemini feature that I've talked about earlier. So anyway, this is how it works. Till now, Google AI can only answer your questions. Like you ask a question about, say, the president of America or you ask a question about general knowledge, Google will give you the answer. But this new AI project will scan all your photos. It will scan your data and give you answers about you. Like you can ask, when did I buy my dog? Like when is my dog's birthday? Like this AI will go through your personal information and give you answers related to yourself. This is definitely a pretty cool feature as long as Google doesn't share your information to the advertisers. Recently, Apple has launched the iOS version 17.2 and it has brought a lot of interesting changes. Now for one, iPhone 13 series, 14 series and the 15 series will now support the latest G2 wireless charging standard, which are pretty similar to MagSafe charging standards itself. So that's definitely pretty good. And besides that, Apple has also brought in the new journal app for the iPhone users. Now you can capture your everyday movements like photos, information, audio clips or videos in the journal app and it will use AI for recommendations. It can give you notifications. Now this journal app is not your regular diary. It can help you build up gratitude and have a better life. So if you're using an iPhone, definitely give this app a try. And finally, with this latest iOS version 17.2 update, iPhone 15 Pro Max and the 15 Pro can now record spatial videos. Like you can record videos in 3D with the same phone. If you share it with your friends, it'll be regular 2D, but it is saved as a spatial video with 3D. So that's definitely another pretty cool feature to try. Obviously you can't experience 3D right away, but you can save your precious moments right now and maybe in the future you can get to experience it. Google is working on a new feature called private space. On phones like OnePlus, Realme, Vivo, you have features where you can hide applications, but this particular feature is not natively supported. So Google is fixing that with this private space. Now you can hide applications on any Android phone that's basically running Android 14. So this is definitely a pretty cool feature. You can unlock this private space using pin, password, biometrics, that's facial data or fingerprint. And finally, all Android users can better protect your sensitive apps. Google is also working on something related to security as well that can give you built-in protection against phishing. Now, phishing is a type of cyber attack where hackers try to trick users to share their personal information. Now, this can be prevented with the latest update from Google. So basically, Google will scan through all the applications on your phone and try to see which applications are phishing for your information. Once again, this is going to be on the latest Android version. Infinix has launched a brand new phone called the Infinix Smart 8 HD with a starting price of 6299 Pricing is pretty aggressive and on paper it looks pretty impressive. Phone's design also looks pretty cool. Display has a 90Hz screen refresh rate. Everything looks fancy. 
but it comes with a Unisoft P606 processor, which is like an entry level processor. So the performance is not that good. My recommendation, I would not recommend it. But if your budget is strictly around 6,000 rupees, then you might want to consider it. Now for some entertainment news, we have news about a new animated series called Eye of Wakanda related to Black Panther. Right now there's no release date, but a footage has surfaced on the internet. So if you're interested, do check it out. For gamers who play Genshin Impact, Genshin Impact version 4.3 is right around the corner. Like in a week, it'll be released, but we already got some leaked images, banners basically, of Genshin Impact version 4.4. So if you're a player, you might want to check it out. We basically got new characters and new outfits as well. For people who are interested in Demon Slayer, that's basically an animation. There's a good news. Demon Slayer season 4 will start in spring 2024. That's basically somewhere around April. We don't have an exact date. Anyway, if you are interested, there's a movie coming up with the last season finale and the first episode of season 4. For people who have read the solo leveling novel or the manhwa, there's a good news. Animation of this novel is gonna start from January 6th. So if you're interested, wait for it. I've personally read both the manhwa and the novel. Personally, I like the manhwa better and I'm definitely looking forward to it. If you're someone like me, hit the like button and comment below this video. Now for the final news, there's a free to play game called The Finals. As I've said, it's free to play and it looks super dope. So you can play it on PS5, Xbox or the PC. Do check out the trailer and if you're interested, give it a try. So guys, that's all the news I have for today. Thanks for watching the video till the end. Do subscribe to our channel, hit the like button and comment below this video. And with that said, see you next time.